after two seasons at Kansas State, Florentine Deckers with the UTR of 9.93 is transferring and has signed with LSU for the fall of 2023. She played at number one singles and number two slash three doubles this spot this year. Obviously, this is a big bluff for Kansas State. And guess how many players they have right now on the roster that potentially could return? Four. Yeah. And granted, they do have two freshmen coming in as well. Or newcomers as well. That's according to their roster. And they were 2-20 and 20 last year. I don't know if they were the worst team in the country a year ago. But they're definitely down there. <laughs> I mean, two and twenty. How much worse can you go? I mean, and it seems seems like the trajectory of that program has been falling since 2018. 2018, they were a round of 32 NCAA tournament team, and they they finished tied for they finished like fifth in the Big Twelve, fifth fifth in the tied for fifth in the Big Twelve with a four and five record. Yeah. That's, and of course, 2019, they tied for seven, two and seven in the conference. Obviously, 2020, no conference because the season got shut down due to COVID. But they were four, eight and four that season as a team. But granted, you got to look at the schedules. And 2021, they finished two and seven in the conference, eighth in the Big 12. I'm going to have to look at 2022, but obviously they were 0-9 in the Big 12 this past year. 0-9. If you want to include the Big 12 tournament, 2, 0-10. I mean, granted, they had a few losses, like a 4-2 loss to Baylor, a 4-2 loss to Iowa State. Oh, in 2022, by the way, they were 1-8 in the conference. 1-8. And they were ninth in the conference. Yeah. That. They really have been falling. I mean. And they. That's just mentioning two matches right there. In the Big 12 alone. They were lost 4-3 to Kansas. Which granted. I will say this about Kansas State. They didn't help at the very end of the year. They like lost five or six matches. Or so, when you look at the box score, they only have five players healthy. Yeah, they had to forfeit number three doubles, and if, if you beat them at number one or two, you get the doubles point, and they only have five players in singles, so that's automatically point the other way. So the other team could go up two nothing. Just like that. I mean, they did lose to West Virginia 4 2 also so yeah they had a few losses like, like four losses that could ease that were 4-2 or 4-3 I mean in non-conference they lost to Wichita State 4-3 Tulsa 4-3 that's two of them Tem Denver 4-2 so yeah that team I don't I don't know what they need they need some juice or something because they've really been down I'm not trying to dog on them. I'm just, I'm just telling the truth. When you look at this, I mean, that's got to be the worst season they had in a long time. It's got to be down there as one of the worst. I mean, But as for LSU, I already said they lost five players in a recent video when they lost somebody to Oklahoma State. Now the game, now they're up to seven players now with the two additions. So, yeah. As well as this transfer, and she could definitely help them. I just don't know if she's a court one or if she's like a court two, though. I don't know. Let's wait and see. But I just know Kansas State has been reeling in a bit 12 since 2018. I mean, time for fifth, and then it's got worse, worse, 
worse, worse, and worse. I mean, tanked. I don't know how they're going to bounce back from this. I mean, can they improve? I mean, how much worse can you go from here? From 2-20. and 20? Winless in the conference. Can they beat Cincinnati? Can they beat Houston? Can they even beat BYU? I'm forgetting UCF. UCF is a lot better than Kansas State right now. I would be stunned if UCF would lose to them next year. And granted, we have to wait and see what the schedule is for, for Kansas State and LSU, especially Kansas State when you know this is the last year of Texas and Oklahoma in the Big 12. And there will be four newcomers to the conference. Like 2016 was ninth in the conference. 2017 was eighth in the conference. 2015, ninth in the conference. So really, Kansas State's really their best has been like tied for fifth overall since 1997. And they did that a couple of times. 2000, 2001, 2003. Obviously 2017. So yeah... This is a team that's kind of reeling right now. They need something. Anyways, if you like this content, hit, hit the like and subscribe button. See you guys later. Find the scars around the road to it. Let's go.